Only the exalted and knowing may enter this sacred ground. Innocent eyes will blink at dawn when weakness falls away. You may enter. How long are you going to maintain this charade of rebellion? Until we succeed, and you're no longer a threat. And you say this to my face? You know I am honest. And time was, we were on the same side. I have allowed you to continue for too long. But no more, Runeratu. Or what? I could end your treason right now. Give me one reason I shouldn't kill you on the spot. Just one? <sighs> Amaru, remember who you are. I am one of you. Yeah. Is that why you had me arrested? If my brother was alive, rest his soul. Yeah, he will think this bickering is a waste of time. Come home. I am home. This is home! Unarutu, dream for a moment. How will Paititi prosper when dawn comes in a world without threats coming from the outside? Aren't you such a threat? Remake the world? We all create destiny, together as we are. Everything I've ever done has been for Paititi. Everything! When it was divided, I unified it! I am the only one who sees the real threat here. You come and go as if your life here is optional. Yes. I have lived the outside world and I have seen what's to come. Every day it encroaches. Paititi will not survive its invasion. Everything we are will be taken or destroyed. Well, then we must fight for it together, according to the will of its people. By restoring the sun. Hmm? That will only ensure Paititi's safety for a moment. But then, it doesn't protect us from discovery, invasion. Our destiny is to be doomed. No! No, we... We must be bold, decisive. Act with me. I need your intelligence, your resilience in my world. A world ruled by the cult of Kukultan? Or should I say Trinity? If it's control you want, you can have it. Just help me now ensure Paititi's safety, and then, by all means, you can govern it as you wish. I will give you the throne. I will do it. No. I will find the box and restore the sun. May its light be your judge. Why do you think so little of me? Take her back to her cell. You can send me back, but I will never betray your people. No, you will just fail them. The box is gone. A missionary, Andres Lopez. He stole it 400 years ago. What? You just wasted your life searching in the wrong place. Leave me now.
Kuku Khan bid me to join the ranks of the priesthood. The pantheon of Paititians is a patchwork of several cultures. I'll need to study their rituals, their beliefs, and learn how we can use their own gods against them. The ones from across the water are devious and intelligent. I do not doubt the city will soon be united under the control of Kuku Khan. This is Tonatia, the sun god and ruler of the Aztec heaven, which they called Tolan. He was literally the sun itself, the fifth one in fact, presiding over the fifth age after the four previous suns had perished. The Aztecs believed they had to sacrifice to him regularly, or else he would refuse to move across the sky. He was strongly associated with eagles, unsurprisingly, and was often depicted wearing their feathers and carrying weapons such as arrows and shields or instruments specifically created for human sacrifice. Another group of children is on their way from Khan, traveling via steamship. Of the ten I have sent, please keep a close eye on the one called Amaru. He shows the greatest promise. However, he is prone to bouts of sullenness and often complains about missing his brother. I suggest a special curriculum be created for this one, something that will keep him too occupied to be homesick. The shadows loom long and dark, the mountain black as night, in mourning as the strange pale men end the short but immensely productive life of Cayuaca Park. He whose yearning for greatness lashed this city to his shoulders and carried it upwards, who only ever asked for Enti to warm his brow as he worked, in the streams or fields or brickyards. Cayuaca Park made a deal with the strange men. He gave his life so that we may live ours, free, but under the new rule of these men from distant lands. <laughs> Wife of Enti, daughter of Viracocha and mother of the founders of the Incan Empire. Likely another artifact extorted from the people of Paititi by the cult. In order to not upset an already delicately balanced situation, all members of Trinity will adhere to the following rules. Limit excursions in the city. If leaving the compound is unavoidable, always wear the cultist uniform. Do not carry modern weapons. Avoid direct contact with Paititians when possible. In an effort to reduce the possibility of disease entering Paititi, Emperor Shika hereby temporarily bans all citizens from exiting the city. Anyone currently beyond the city's limits will not be authorized to re-enter. Paititi is still recovering from a recent epidemic and any other outbreaks could tip the already precarious balance. By order of the cult of Kukul Khan.
That black and yellow stripe across his face marks this as Tezcatlipoca, a very important god to the Aztecs. Let's see if I can remember everything he was associated with. Jaguars, hurricanes, the night winds, the night sky, earth, the north, sorcery, beauty, temptation, leadership, war, strife, interpersonal conflict in general, and of course, obsidian and divination. His right foot is often replaced with a piece of reflective obsidian, which the Aztecs used as mirrors, and these mirrors figured in shamanic rituals and prognostication. Tezcatlipoca literally means smoking mirror. The city's priests, or shamans, if we mean to differentiate between the heathens and those who toil in the Lord's light, were the first to come forward. The first to listen, to hear of the state of the outside world. And thereupon, several of them felt completely cheated and begged to be baptized. They reasoned rightly, their worship and trust was misplaced in the traditional deities of these lands. For as one stated, if your God has brought you here, across the world, then he truly must be the most powerful, and only a fool would not bow to such a being. We will teach these shamans English, and have them teach the population of Paititi. Jonah, I know where she is. I'm going in. Okay, we're on our way. Did you feel the tremor before? Yeah, when I was in the cenote. It was a foreshock. The earthquake is coming soon, we have to hurry. Yeah, when we get Unuratu out, we'll all go find the box together. Sorry, no one may enter. This seems to be some kind of primitive sculpture of a human.
A city is only as strong as its crops and people. From here, we control the water, never having to rely on the Fickley rains again. A working Maya aqueduct might be able to climb up there.
that anymore. Should be able to get higher now. Thank <laughs> you. 
That was close. Here's Quetzalcoatl, the feathered serpent. The Aztecs worshipped him as a force of nature, responsible for the wind and the rain. In his most wrathful tempers, these natural phenomena became extreme, acting to cleanse the earth and sky. Through that, he also became associated with justice and with mercy. According to one legend, he had misbehaved with his sister, and to atone for his shame, he set himself on fire. Then, his ashes rose into the sky, he became a god of light as well. May the rivers of the afterlife be calm, and Uturanku's boat sturdy to ferry us across them. I can barely see the bottom. Hope there is a bottom. <clears throat> this cavern must have been carved by an underground river.
of carving up there. Laura, how's it going? 
just crossed the river, almost at the prison. There are guards everywhere. We're heading towards the river. Get back to you when we're there. Okay. <clears throat> Box is not in Paititi. I know. I will be forced to join Amaru. Everything I fought for since Aidi's death will be lost. I won't let that happen. Come on, let's go. We're out of time. Someone needs to find that box. If the sun is not recharged or the world we made, all of us will be destroyed. I found another clue. Maybe. The tattoos on your arm, the heron and the eclipse, the same symbols were found engraved on the altar where the box was taken. What? What do the symbols mean? This one shows my destiny. The crimson fire of Chak Chun. And this one grounds my past. It symbolizes Chimchichika, the last true emperor of Paititi. His tomb is in the upper district. Can you take me there? They're all over that tomb. If there's anything there, they would no doubt have found it already. Amaru doesn't have this clue. He doesn't know what to look for. crawling with guards. We'll find our way around them. It'll be dangerous. I'm sure. Then there's no time to waste. How is Edsley? Safe. He helped me find you. He should be with Uchu now. The ruling family is displaced, reduced to nothing but a figurehead while we truly control the city. The reason for allowing them to remain in position of seeming power is twofold. It allows us to focus on our search for the silver box, and it acts as a pacifier for the locals who are recalcitrant to any type of change. Jonah, I'm with Inuratu. No good. Edsley wants to talk to her. Mother, we're sending backup. Should I support Uchu or use the distraction to seize territory? You're in charge while we're separated, Edsley. Trust your instincts. Let's call and go ele lo puti. Hajpila with job. Tell me, 
to the upper district. You lead. This describes something nearby. A once ferocious warrior raised as a warning. They fell from his mouth and now lie beneath him. Dressed in native garb, we entered the city. Those healthy enough to resist our advance met us with spears. We bowed and told them Kuku Khan had sent us to cleanse the city of sickness. We administered bombs and medicine to the city's leaders and those we thought were saving, buried the dead and comforted the dying. Slowly the people came to trust and soon rely on our aid. They have several sites all over South America. <sighs> Wish I'd found this map sooner. I could have gone directly to Paititi. As ordered, we have made our way to Khan in search of the suspected traitor Andreas Lopez accompanied by a squadron of native warriors. We'd found them along the shores of the Gulf after they had recently escaped a slave ship that was caught in a storm. The initial encounter was tense, but soon we came to an accord. The warriors agreed to accompany us through the jungle on the condition we made a detour to several other outposts to enlist more of their people and that we would keep them from being enslaved. We found that altogether satisfactory and soon set off. Alfonso Ricci, Order of Trinity.
Kukul Khan departs Paititi during New Moon. Kukul Khan returns with several other outsiders during the waxing of the moon. They argue. The next morning, the entire group, now in better spirits, leaves in their obsidian beds. Quite the grim welcoming committee. The victims were offered to the gods. They left the cities and wandered the provinces until they were buried alive. These traps are more complex than I could have imagined. Murder. Death. Stealing another's crops. Death. Stealing another's skins. Death, idleness, head shaved, fighting, restitution to injured party, public drunkenness, stoning, exceptions, during a festival or over 70 years old, by order of the cult of Kukul Khan. May Quispy have acquired a surplus of foods, supplies, and comforts by the time we meet him in the afterlife.
I think we're clear. Let's go. Take this key. Come, I want to show you something. The eclipse is coming. Once it is here, the box must be opened. Temptation of the box is so powerful, it will pull me toward it, intent me with a fantasy, an easy way to solve our problems. But it will only show me my strongest, most secret desires. I have prepared my whole life to resist it. Amaru has not yet seen the box, but already its power corrupts his mind. Paititi is its people and can only survive by our will together. So if Amaru remakes Paititi his way, it's like he destroys it? Yes. We face many threats from the outside, but risk is a part of life. We must confront it to remain true to ourselves. How do you know you'll be able to resist the power once you have it? I don't. But if my training fails me, the crimson fire will guide me and hold me to my promise. We should go. What is the Crimson Fire? It is my destiny. It's connected to the sacrifice of Kukulkan. When According to legend, the key and shakshal and the silver box of Ishal were created in the heavens for one purpose, to destroy and restore the sun. The ritual can only be performed during an eclipse. Once the ritual is completed, the chosen avatar will hold the power of the sun within them. Having become the god of creation, Kukulkan, they must sacrifice and release that power to restore the sun. But the silver box tempts people with visions of an idealized world they could create with that power. A fantasy of their own mind. An entirely new reality, only at the cost of destroying this one. The crimson fire smokes, seek your mirror. It's a powerful force of accountability. That's all I know. Do any of those creatures ever find their way in here? Creatures? They attack. In the caverns around Paititi, they were in conflict with Trinity. And in the altar where the box was taken, they came after me. Do you mean the Yashil? Yashil. They were tall and fast, hungry, almost desperate. I would not call them creatures. There are more than that. The key I gave you should work here. What happened to the Yashir? There are many legends. It was long ago, but Paititi owes much of his safety to them. They protect it. I don't know if that's their intention, but their actions have that effect. They don't ever attack the city? No. We have always lived in cooperation. I think Amaru might be planning a public sacrifice. Of a rebel? We have to stop it. No, not unprepared, and not at the expense of the box. The warrior who will bear the sacrifice will prefer death. <sighs> Thank you.
full up. Can't carry any more. Stay near me and do as I do. The crowd could turn on us. This way. Who would threaten our safety? Preservation! Their leader, the traitor, that your fallen queen is in my custody. But it is not too late to say things. Today, we offer a sacrifice to Kukurkan. Come. As a prayer See what he does. As the eclipse draws near, with this sacrifice, this river's life will be redeemed. May all his fellows see the light and rejoin us. Emperor said he wanted an end to violence. He sees it as a means to an end. Innocent eyes will blink at dawn when weakness falls away. You may pass. The tomb is up there, on that statue. I'll watch the gate. I won't be long. Jonah, we're close to the Emperor's tomb. We're by the river, ready to get you and Unuratu out of there. Let me know when you're ready. <laughs> okay. like my way in. Laura, where are you? The Emperor's tomb. I almost have what we need. We'll be ready. 
Someone is keeping these fires burning. This figure must be loved. Layers of symbolism in these stucco panels. This altar is elaborate. This must have been an important ruler. The Inca influence is unmistakable. have taken root after his death. Okay, the Eclipse and the Heron. What am I missing? Wait, did Lopez leave this? The heart of the serpent is in the cup. This is Commander Rourke. We've got a lead on the box. Send a team for Croft. Give this to Edsley. He's a rifle heir. He must need by Titi. He's young, but strong. His spirit as noble as his blood. Uh, don't go, keep talking to me. The box, he will tempt you. Resist. We all create our destiny. to where Lopez took the silver box. The heart of the serpent is in the cup, near the many stone faces.
Sable. I can't carry any more. I can't carry any more. Jonah, where are you? I'm down by the docks. I see you. Hey, just about ready to go. On my way. Zunaratu. We are attacked. She died fighting Trinity. Oh no. Yeah. Where is my mother? Your mother. She. She fought hard. But that's the leader's amulet. It belongs to you now. She was a warrior. The eclipse draws near. If we cannot restore the sun... I'll find the box. I won't let the cult of Kuku Khan get to it first. Begin the preparations for the burial chamber. Queen Unuratu will live on within us. Uchu, assist them with the boat. We will prepare for battle. The rebellion must succeed. We'll be back with the box. Take care. We will be ready when you return. So what's next? We'll head back to Kwakyaku, regroup and take it from there. 